This is Outnumbered, and I'm Melissa Francis. Here today is Harris Faulkner, Lisa Booth, radio host and Fox News contributor Leslie Marshall, and joining us on the couch, the opinion editor for The Washington Times and Fox News contributor Charlie Hurt. Yay. Charlie, yes. how are you doing? Happy New Year to <laughs> everybody. Year to you. Yeah? yeah? You got some Red Sox going. Yeah. Happy yes. New Year to you. Oh, look at those. You're still these celebrating are, Christmas. Are these candy these canes? Are Christmas socks. I, I think Charlie actually, and Leslie You know what? We, we I, coordinated ties. I shoes, like it when socks, somebody hangs on to the season. I can't let go. Okay, Leslie, let, let me ask you. Um, you know, it, it has been a failing of both sides of the aisle to get this done. And I think Charlie's right in the sense that there's so much politically at stake. You don't want to give Donald Trump a win. You don't want to be seen as. But the, the one thing we saw work was criminal justice reform. And it seems like some have suggested that maybe there could be a ruling by coalition rather than by party. Can you get coalitions together who want things and can kind of horse trade for that? Is there a possibility for that on immigration? I'm not sure, but immigration, I think, is an area where Democrats can win, and let me tell you why. Even though you have a Republican majority in the House, in the Senate, even though you have legislation that would get to the president's desk and he wouldn't sign it, if Democrats can address, and it is a big uh, item to address, comprehensive immigration reform. Yeah. And when we talk about comprehensive immigration reform, remember, we're talking about DACA, the Dreamers. Yeah. We're talking about those, like Harris rightly mentioned, millions of people in this country who are in, in, in limbo illegally. We're talking talking about security and border security right. and what does that look like going forward. We're also talking about in a state level like the state I live in, California, sanctuary city and legislation. Do the, that legislation need to be changed or rewritten? If, if the Democrats can work together, and I am confused by some of the division already, haven't we learned our lesson from 2016? When you look at some of the division already happening, when you have people like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez saying, you know, I'm not going to vote for this that Pelosi's putting out or that. Well, and She and, also and, thinks she can subpoena people. It, well, I think she thinks she thinks she can be Nancy Pelosi. Then I'm sorry, but she needs to sit back. She's new and watch maybe a little bit uh, how, how it's done. I, I yeah. think immigration is an area where Democrats uh, will shine if they can put forth something that is passed in the House, even if the Senate and the President can reject I ask you it. A uh, but, the, but you know, earlier we were talking about the, this is a problem. This is everyone deserves blame for this. Republicans right. have oh, absolutely sure. uh, have just, or I, I would say a little bit less. But Republicans are to blame for the problem. Democrats are definitely to blame for the problem. And the reason that we're in the, these shocking times is that Donald Trump got elected, running on this issue of immigration. And he did something that no other politician seems to do in, in recent times, and that is actually mean what he pr ran a campaign on. And he actually wants to do something to fix the problem. And, and there are but, all but, kinds but of But does he want to do something well, to fulfill a campaign but promise? Listen, yeah. But does he want to do something well, to truly we, improve border security? Can we, I, th can we, can we, I think both. Well, can we also just admit that both parties have supported a wall? In essence, both parties yeah. have supported a physical barrier along the southern border. That is even so the, cathartic. And even the New York Times, yeah, yet it's the true. government is shut down over an issue that they essentially both support. It's a word. And over shut a down word. over a word. You're, but exactly. Not an, not an actual concept. Well, and the New York Times even admitted last year that this concept works. They admitted in San Diego, fencing there, that illegality there is 5% of what it once was. So clearly, this works. Think about it. If you're walking someplace, there's a physical structure in front of you that you can't pass through. You're going to go someplace else, right? If physical structure works at the southern border and the problem with trying to do a more comprehensive immigration reform as you mentioned Leslie is border security and it preventing further illegality is the preeminent issue because the big thing is uh, you need to de incentivize individuals for wanting to make that journey and try to legally enter the United States and but it, don't but it address isn't the that, barrier. nothing else matters. But it isn't the barrier that, that brings them or, or stops them. Like uh, former Governor Rick Perry said in the border state of Texas, you know, they're going to go over it, they're going to go under it, they're going to go around it. One of the so problems that, that we have, have in our state addressing agriculture, one of the problems we have in the state I live in California is you have corporations hiring these individuals. If you right. dangle they the carrot of opportunity, if you dangle the carrot of opportunity, they're going to come. And what we've seen over a decade, the past decade, is we've seen a reduction in border crossings. We've seen a reduction of uh, people coming here illegally. And why? Because for a while the economy was going down. Those job opportunities weren't, weren't, weren't here. And that's what many of them are coming for if they're not fleeing violence well, no, that, in some of the areas. That's in absolutely America. true, and you're absolutely right about that. And, and the solution to that is E-Verify, where if you do have to address the 
behavior by the corporations is the way to do it. And that is finding people who are hiring illegal aliens. Mitt Romney, I argue, is exploring in some ways, too, sure. because he did some exploring sure. yesterday with what's possible. Yeah, and, and he's desperate for uh, relevance. Uh, obviously, he ran for president. Uh, in 2012, a year that should have been a, an easy win for Republicans, uh, he lost. He failed miserably. Um, he uh, did, some ran, shade. Ran, ran a terrible campaign, um, and was a terrible sure, candidate. Uh, you know, yeah. this is a guy who was uh, when he when he was uh, running for governor of Massachusetts, claimed to be uh, more a more enthusiastic supporter of abortion than Ted Kennedy, and then changed his his, his mind when when uh, the, the the situation changed. He's a t typical politician. You can't believe anything he says. And so obviously he's Ooh. desperate for relevancy. And so he writes this. He gets into bed with the Washington Post, and he writes this thing about Donald Ooh. Trump, reminding everybody why uh, he lost the election. And, uh, you know, if, if, you, if you really don't like Donald Trump, the then you should hate the Mitt United Romney, States. because the three people who uh, paved the way for Donald Trump are Mitt Romney, uh, 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 Barack Obama, and Hillary Clinton. And if it hadn't been for the three of them, we probably wouldn't have had a, a guy okay, like that. Okay, Char Charlie's a reading oh, Native American. She's got, she's reading my notes. Notes. She's got her fact Mitt Romney cannot Listen. be believed when he was governor of Massachusetts, pro-choice, flipped to an I swear Empire. I didn't read that. Were you reading my notes now? No. Um, you know what? He doesn't want to be senator of Utah. He wants to yeah, be president. Exactly. But here's, here's the thing. Remember, he came out so uh, vehemently opposed to Trump, but then sat down with his tongue wagging when he thought that yeah. he was going to be... When he got the, endorsed. You know, when he, when he was going or to be in the cabinet, right, and he was right. going to be Secretary, Secretary of State, State, and all of a sudden he's like, oh, I like you now. Now I, like I hate you, you now, Mr. Trump. <laughs> but, and now, now I hate you again. Like, nope, now I hate you. So, so I, don't know if he'll, I don't know if he'll, in a sense, fall in line with the rest of the Republicans, especially when he's like, I created Obamacare, and then he has to vote to dismantle it with his party. You know what? Uh, the current fight with the president right now is, in my humble opinion, uh, Leslie, something that this plays a role in. I know the president has said this is what it's all about. Uh, this conceivably is her last bite at the apple politically. And yeah. she's been around oh. for 30 years. Oh, I can't imagine. <laughs> Her with another speakership after. I mean, she's already said she wouldn't. Yeah. No. Well, and that, well, no, no, that, uh, yeah. but the no. party. Yeah, I know. Like, she I'm has said around, right? she wouldn't, but the party <laughs> seems to be saying <laughs> you shouldn't. Right. Which is a completely different conversation. And when you have a couple of years from now, and Ocasio Cortez and others, Hakeem Jeffries, by the way, the party did slide him some leadership. <laughs> Because uh, he was one of those who was looking at running against her, Clyburn and right. some others for speakership. So she has been able to quiet that down. Some people have gotten some things that they've wanted. There are only so many things you can pass out. Well, so there's another generation coming. And there should be. Uh, quite frankly, you know, on, on, on both sides of the aisle. I mean, I think especially for the Democrats, I see uh, you're seeing the people that have been elected into the House are definitely uh, much more a uh, diverse uh, group of Democratic le legislators. Um, and now, when you it, say it, diverse, what do you mean? Do you mean women? Do you mean... I mean women, Native Americans, Hispanics, uh, gays, Muslims. Uh, definitely more diverse than the last Democratic uh, House that we had and, and when we had the majority. So now, I think going forward, yes, Nancy Pelosi is, you know, old school Democrat. I think it's good because she can hit the ground running. She knows what to do. She's strong. She has people that respect and like her and dislike her, but respect and like her on both sides of the aisle. But having new people, new blood, and a younger and more diverse face of the Democratic Party it's interesting, is needed going Because the word diverse to me, Lisa, means ideas as well. You didn't yes, mention that, but your party is leaning so far left. <laughs> no, 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 that's not over. true. I think part of what? our party is, part of our party is the, well, the, the socialist faction of it. Particularly the loudest voices, but I've been kind of... so. It's sort of interesting that as this new Congress is sworn in and beginning, we're at an impasse in the government funding. And I sort of think, sadly, it's sort of om uh, ominous and sort of uh, a what's to come <laughs> over the next two years, right? That we're already beginning this um, congressional term with a disagreement, f you know, fractions. And essentially, I really think that's what the next two years are going to be alike. I really do. I think it's foreshadowing a what's to come in the sense, I don't think there's going to be a lot of agreement between the Democrat-controlled House and the Republican-controlled Senate or the White House. I think there's going to be a lot of disagreements, a lot of fighting, a lot of uh, investigating oh, yeah. on behalf of Democrats in the House. And it's going to be a lot of dysfunction. 
I don't agree. I think there are areas like infrastructure and trade that you can have bipartisan support. And, and, and historically, if you look at the polls, historically, America likes a divided Congress. They like a divided Congress, but they don't want to see everything ground to a halt, and they sure. don't want to see where it impacts. I mean, I think it's fair to say it impacts everybody's lives, mm -hmm. that immigration has fallen apart. Whether it's because you live in an area near the border or because you know someone whose status is uncertain or you're frustrated by the ways of how the laws have played out or you pay taxes. So, you know, you're, you're paying for things. I mean, no matter how you slice it, these are people that were elected to fix problems and they have a problem that's festering and they're not fixing it. Absolutely not fixing it. And when, when your diversity of ideas includes uh, socialism, uh, in, in a major, uh, formerly, I would argue, legitimate party, uh, that is absolutely terrifying. Uh, the, the, the number of new Democrats and, and perhaps even some old Democrats who actually really do embrace socialism, it's, it's frightening. But, uh, but I don't think you're not going to pry this speakership, this gavel out of Nancy Pelosi's yeah. No, anytime soon. Oh, I totally yeah. disagree with and, that. And, oh, thanks for skipping Clint, I, Clint I, Eastwood's I real words. <laughs> I think the only way that it happens is uh, that if they overplay their hand over the next two years and they, 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 they lose the House again the way Nancy Pelosi Lost it but if she's successful in, in her position as House Speaker, why, if it's not broken, why fix it? Well, yeah, no, no, I, no I, I'm sure that that's why I'm sure. That'll be her will, argument for sure. Right, I think right, so right. you're going to give us a rundown of some numbers. But going back to what Leslie was saying, you know, um, and I think they would be very, they would be so smart to listen to you and, and, <laughs> and stay away from all the investigations and actually try to find things that they can work with Democrats, with Republicans on. But the immigration thing is a perfect example. They're, they're putting forth these solutions, these ideas that all because they know the president has already said he's not going to uh, he's not he's not going to sign anything without that that uh, but Charlie I would say funding for the wall